In this video, I'm going to talk about working with curves. Curves are a little bit difficult to work with sometimes. You just have to know a few tricks. I'm going to show you the proper way to do seams around the curve and also an easy way to hem the curve. So let's get started. So now I'm going to do a seam on my circle here. So it's definitely a curved edge. And I have two circles that have been pinned together. So I'm just going to start very slowly. And with your hand, you're just trying to guide it around the curve. And I definitely go a little bit slower than I do with the straight edge. If you find that your circle is kind of getting away from you, I would definitely slow down. Also, you could put your needle down, lift your foot, and then adjust like this till your circle gets back on track. So this hand is the one that's guiding it. This hand is just holding it down as it goes around. And uh, when we're done, even if you do this perfectly, there's still some steps you're gonna have to take in order to ensure that the seam is gonna lie flat after you finish sewing it. So I'm gonna talk about that next. So I have my circle, which I've turned right side out. I didn't sew it all the way around so I could do that, so that's why I have my hole right here. And I have my seam along the edge here. Now granted, it hasn't been pressed yet, but what you're gonna find out is if you fill along where your seam is, you're gonna feel fabric that's been bunched up because it's curved, it has no place to go. So this will never lie completely flat because of that fabric bunching up. So I'm gonna show you the right way in order to fix that so that doesn't happen. I turn my circle back wrong side out here. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna clip little notches into your seam allowance here. So what you're doing is create, cutting out a triangle and you wanna get as close to your seam as possible without cutting your seam. If you cut your seam, you're essentially creating a hole in your seam here. This is what you're gonna to wanna to do whenever you have any kind of a seam that's on a curve. I'm doing it about every half inch apart here. So basically I'm just starting on one edge at an angle and then coming in at the other side at an angle. And there we go, there's our triangle. So I'm gonna do this all the way around here. Until I've clipped all my notches. I've clipped all my notches here all the way around except for this area where I have my hole only because it makes it difficult then for me to hand sew it close if I have a bunch of notches there. So I'm just leaving that alone for now. The next step is we're going to trim our seam so it's about a quarter of an inch away from the stitches here. This is just to get rid of some of the bulk seam here. So all I'm gonna do is just clip this to half its size like that. And again, with as I did with the notches, I'm going to go all the way around. After this point, uh, you're free to flip it right side out and to press it. And hopefully this time you won't have any of that extra seam allowance inside of your project. And it'll lie flat for you. I flipped my circle right side out again and I pressed it. So now if you fill it, you're gonna feel that the seams are now lying flat and you don't have to worry about that extra bulk. So that's how you do a seam on a curve. So now we're gonna move on and I'm gonna show you how to do a hem. Now I'm going to do a hem on another circle and I'm just gonna do it on the lower half of the circle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a basting stitch. So this means no back stitching, and I'm gonna do it pretty close to the edge, I'd say about 1 8 And uh, like you were doing for the seam, you're gonna wanna go slow here. And just follow the curve. So when I get halfway through my circle, I'm gonna go back to the start of where I did my basting stitch before, and I'm going to do another basting stitch. So I'm probably gonna do that one at the quarter inch mark. This is because we are gonna be pulling the threads in our basting stitch. And it's always a good idea to do it twice because sometimes one of the threads will break. 
So it just makes it a little bit stronger when you're pulling it that you could pull two threads and hopefully it won't break on you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this one out. Sometimes it starts to gather on me already. And now I'm going to do another one. Just a little ways from my first one. Okay. Here are my two basting stitches right here, side by side, half the circle. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the two top threads from one side of the basting stitches and I'm going to very gently pull them so it starts to gather the fabric here. And what this is doing is because there's obviously more fabric on the outside of the circle than on the inside of the circle. So by gathering, we're easing the outside of the circle in order to fit the inside so we're not gonna have a bunch of bunching on the inside part of the circle as we're doing the hem. So I'm just gonna continue gathering. I can also pull from this side and you're just gonna distribute this gathering around the circle. And once it starts to look like that, you're gonna be able to start folding this. And I'm just gonna do a half inch seam allowance here. So maybe a little smaller. And if you do it right, the, the hem should kind of fall right into place for you and I'm just gonna start pinning it and if you feel like it's not working like it's too difficult it probably means you need to bunch it up a little bit more you don't want it to get it too bunched so you also don't might need to let it out a little bit as well make that a little smaller so I'm just gonna go all the way around working with my gathering in order to create this hem for my circle. This is the right side of my fabric now. So I have my pins on the other side. And what I like to do is make sure that I don't have any wrinkles at the bottom here. If I do, all I have to do is just kind of stretch out my pins to kind of smooth it out. So you can see it's a nice curve on this side. I'm gonna flip it over. So now I have my gathering at the top. So when you sew this, obviously it's gonna get pressed down and you're gonna have a few wrinkles on this side. But as long as it still looks nice on this side, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing with the wrong side facing up. And I'm just gonna do um, uh, an overlock zigzag stitch. You can just do a regular zigzag stitch if that's what your machine has. So I'm gonna go right along the edge here. And then just finish, it, finish up my hem. Here is the right side of my hem. And of course you can do any kind of a hem stitch that you want. I just did this kind of a stitch, but you'll see that now we have a flat edge on our hem here and it makes a nice curve so that's how you do a hem on a curve